Happy Thanksgiving, everyone! Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because He's given Yeshua, His Son. And now, let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. Because of what the Lord has done for us, give thanks. Amen. So I just wanted to share with you some exciting tips. This is my book, Finding Gold, and I want to share a couple of things from the back of the book on finding harmony. And one thing is not accepting unacceptable behavior. Act, do not react. So we all have moments when we feel we've been insulted or hurt, but we don't speak up because we feel like the child who complains about a monster in a closet. We run the risk of sweeping under the rug, denying that we've been even hurt. Then there are some of us who easily lose our tempers. We all know nothing is accomplished by shouting, panicking, or reacting. So it was a relief when I learned that the right to disagree lovingly or speak up without fearing the relationship will be cut off. And I could speak up carefully to people whose behaviors affect me by saying things like, that's inappropriate, or I feel a little uncomfortable with that. If that doesn't work, I can politely walk out or hang up the phone, assuring me that the person will we'll just continue our chat later. But I'm learning to speak up for myself and it doesn't have to be a big deal. It can be a loving but quick assertive comment, saying the phrase to myself, act, don't react. And praying for wisdom is the perfect way to stay cool headed and keep the peace. The scriptures say a gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Proverbs 15, one. Another cool thing that uh, I really like for the holidays is principles above personalities. This is from the 12 step traditions actually. Principles above personalities, darling. Uh, reminds me to set aside emotional feelings when we have to make a group decision in our family. I need to look at the situation minus my personal resentments, minus my personal ex expectations and not even thinking about what I want, but what's best for the group. In Acts chapter 6, verse 2, the 12 gathered all the disciples together and said, it would not be right for us to neglect the ministry of the word of God in order to wait on tables. Um, the disciples made a decision not based on their egos, but based on principles. They chose the best idea for the group, vision. Um, last but not least, some of you have family members that constantly compare you to other family members and you're not good enough and you're not rich enough and blah, 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 blah. Well, I'm here to tell you you're a child of God. You're a gem in God's hands. Compare leads to despair. So don't let anybody compare you at all. Put it out of your mind. Just remind that person you're a different person. You have different needs. Um, comparing ourselves to other people only brings us down. We all have strengths and weaknesses. Similarly, say that fast three times. Similarly, if we think we're better and put ourselves on a pedestal, we're dangerously proud. So the lesson learned comparing ourselves or our children or our spouses to other people is dangerous and compare leads to despair. So let's not go there. Instead of comparing and putting someone on a pedestal, I commit to admiring that person and learning from them. How about that? Anyway, I hope you've been blessed. Happy Thanksgiving and, uh, I pray God's peace be with you. Go in the peace and the armor of God. Shalom, shalom. Oh, and if you want to pick up the book, michellegold.com slash music or michellegold.com slash finding gold. I'm now offering a bundle, darling. If you buy one, you get a free download of the other. Shalom and God bless. And more importantly, I am just blessed by your friendship and I thank God for you.